I have a question from somebody who has been following my work about low self-esteem with regards to body image, specifically penis size. This is Dr. Mata Tarly. I'm a clinical sexologist with a doctorate in human sexuality. And uh, I'm going to read the email. I'm struggling with having low self-esteem about myself and I hope you can provide me a few tips about what I can do. I'm still in my teens and I always worry about not being buff enough and the size of my penis. My friends around me are all bigger than me and always feel depressed about not being attractive enough to the opposite sex, opposite gender. Your videos inspire me and I really look up to you. Thank you. It has been a wonderful and tough journey for you, yes. And for you to share your struggles online. It's really generous of you. And uh, thank you, and I hope you'll be able to reply me. Okay. So this is what I have to say about uh, your body. You are now in your teens. Your body is going to change. The body that you have now is going to change in five years, in 10 years, in 20 years' time. And whatever it is that you're going through, it is temporary. Right now, we can compare ourselves against our peers and we want to fit in, we want to blend in, we want to look normal, we want to be like other people. But what's going to make you stand out is in life is really being an individual. So take charge of your power and you will struggle a lot less for the rest of your life. By wanting to conform, we lose who we are, the fact that we are individual, beings, we are unique individual beings and um, I could go into my personal struggles, I was called the ugliest girl in school, I, I, broke, I, had, I had really bad acne and for some reason my mom wanted to perm my hair, so I had this poodle hair, I had geeky glasses, I had body, um, baby fat and I was, I was called the ugliest girl in school and I was and I was also bullied because I was the ugliest girl in school. And um, back then, it was quite strange for me how I felt beautiful inside and yet I, I looked so ugly on the outside. And of course, I envied the girls who were mature in their body and were able to get the boys. And then I wondered, like, am I ever going to find love? You're still in your teens. Your body is going to change. And... You can do what you can do, such as learning about nutrition and fitness and developing your body to the best of your abilities. And when you develop your body to the best of your abilities, you need to let go of the rest, meaning don't be fixated about it. Do what you can, let go of the rest. This is what I do as well in my life. I do what I can, I do my best in my work. And then I have to let go of my clients after we finish the session. I cannot keep thinking of them because I also need to have my own life. Coming back to you. So work on your body, let go of the rest. With regards to your penis, one of the things that you didn't mention is how big your penis actually is. Some men are growers and some men are showers, which means some men have what looks like a big penis but actually doesn't grow that much when they're erect. And some men are... They look small, but actually when they are fully erect, they're actually substantially bigger. And you really are not going to know based on looking at someone next to you in the cubicle store, um, in the bathroom. You're not going to really see. And also, sometimes when we look down, when men look down at their penis, it looks smaller than it is because you're actually looking at it from an angle. And so the side view might look different from the front view. What you can do is um, measure your penis from the base of your penis to the tip of your penis with a measuring tape. Then you will know what's the length of your penis. Your penis might grow because you're still in your teens. You're still developing. Another thing is that um, a lot of people get caught up with the length when actually what they need to also be looking at is the girth of their penis, which means the circumference, how fat the penis is how thick the penis is. That causes a lot of pleasure as well. And you must have heard, it's not just what you have, it's also how you use it. So learning to how to have better ejaculation control and how to uh, play with different 
techniques when it comes to thrusting can really help you. Being good with your hands, being good with your mouth are all part of expressing yourself sexually when you're with a partner. One of the things that sometimes people ask me is how to grow their penis. One of, I don't help men to grow their penis or enlarge or elongate their penis. Um, a lot of the research has been shown that you can stretch the muscle, but what you're actually doing is you might um, put strain on those very sensitive nerves that are there. You can stretch the muscle, but you're not necessarily stretching the size of the penis when it's erect. And I want, you, I want you to think about the fact that you actually have a penis that is working. There are men who want to go through plastic surgery to enlarge their penis, and then they forget what's the point of having a huge penis if after surgery it's not going to work as well. Would you rather have a penis that doesn't work or a penis that is whatever size it is and works? So think about that. And another thing that happens is sometimes we get fixated with one or two things about our body and we forget about the other things of our body that we actually like a lot. I had geeky glasses, I had poodle hair, I had lots of acne, I had baby fat. And yet, I was constantly getting compliments about my lips. And because I used to swim, I have really nice shoulders. I really like my shoulders. And because I swim, I have really chunky thighs. And my thighs are really strong. I love my thighs, even though people make fun of me. I love my thighs because they support the rest of my body. And my body gives me so much pleasure. It allows me to get a lot of things done and help people. And sometimes we lose perspective. On the whole scheme of things, your body is amazing. It's working. And you have much to be grateful for. So I've given you a few thoughts to think about. I made a video based on your question. And um, I hope you like this video. You're getting some insights. Stop comparing yourself because we are individuals. We are not sheep. And the way to stand out in this world is to have the courage to own the fact that you are an individual with unique needs, wants, desires, and body. And your body is supporting you instead of sending hate messages to your body send thoughts of gratitude and see if your body doesn't show up and respond to the love messages that you're giving your body. When I did that, hmm, <laughs> I became so much sexier <laughs> and I trust that you will too. So this has been Dr. Martha Tara Lee of Arrows Coaching. And I um, look forward to your continued support of my work. It means a lot to me that increasingly I'm getting more and more acknowledgement and appreciation. And uh, you have no idea. Our work can be so hard. <laughs> okay, so I'm tuning out for now. Bye.